Hey guys, it's Arcanium69, and uh, <sighs> I think I finally grabbed the balls to um, play this game again. And I'm telling you, as soon as soon as I started this up, my heart started pounding because I have a feeling that my brain knows that when it sees this, it might get. <laughs> he might get screwed so I think the last place we left off was the study so let's just continue on from there okay let's not talk let's just get into it I need to get with the controls again though please don't mind this it happens over time Please don't crash. There we go. Okay. So... Yep. F is yep. And then tab is yep. Escape. Alright. So anyways, oh uh, well, rather uh, interesting. So yeah, we're back, and it wants to fuck me over again. I know it does. I'm just already looking at this, and I'm feeling the ambience coming through me. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm still a little bitch of these things. Anyways, Canis Lupus Familiaris, 1658, tw uh, April 12th. After a short study, that it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce uh, stress, which seems to trigger an endo endogenous response. English, right? Um, and causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is dif it is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the uh, creature is bound to die from the uh, exercise. I must refine this uh, this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experience and more experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Yeah, that kind of sounds like me right now. So, anyways. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk through here, you know. Man up. There we go. That was my sanity. Crystal clear. Oh! That's a pleasant surprise. Ha! Ha! Ha ha! Who the hell leaves this shit here? Fucking hell. Oh my. Slight headache. After that, no, more like a slight heart attack. Doesn't do anything. Well, what was the reason for coming in here then? Oh, there's a note here. 1658, January 9th. This is like 200 years ago, if I'm thinking right on the time span of this game. 
Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of a life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made by uh, in, any, in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but... I hope animals will suffice as they would um, prove less of a hassle to acquire. Okay, whatever. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it sounds it feels like somebody is like breathing into my ear. Okay. What? What? Okay, Daniel, I think we can do this, okay? A dead end. Why am I not surprised of this? There's always dead ends here. Oh, fuck. Thank God. Alright, um... Seven... Uh, these are the notes, okay. So, find another way around the rubble in the study. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Find a way to start the engine uh, that powers the elevator. Okay, and... Um, notes. No. Diaries. No. Okay. Okay, so I think this might be puzzle time. You know, this place is lit up, but I still have this feeling. It's a little frightening to me. Okay. Okay, let's just go back. So apparently we can't do shit there for right now. <sighs> okay, so the study, there's nothing in the study, so... I guess we gotta keep continuing on. What's this over here? The guest room. Just give me a moment to get my composure back together. <sighs> it's just a game, am I right? Okay, let's let's continue on. I've been playing too much Skyrim. Maybe we get to see a monster this time. I don't know. I guess there's nothing in there. Okay. I'm still wondering to myself, who the hell would buy this shit? You know, this freaking house. 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. Uh, I don't think those are in the desert. Deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched the search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Mm, 
must be his boyfriend. I don't know. Looks like somebody ended up really going through here just searching stuff. Maybe this was my place and like they, they were looking for Ladinadinum. Take that and I can refill myself. Okay, there we go. Let's go in here. F Let's go in here first. See, they're wasting wine. I keep saying that they waste wine and it's like the worst thing ever. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, open this way on the side, then you won't get super surprised. At least they left my shirt. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Okay, so. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. Yay! I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The okay. nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. I don't know. Herbert states his facts without judgment I guess, or passion. Uh, I guess you like asphyxiation and time flies when you're having fun? I don't know. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Oh, okay, so there's something in the drawing room. Look at all this wine that's wasted here. I think it's just the ambience that... What? Hold on. Why would this be the picture be torn off? I'm trying to be a little detective here, but I don't think it works. Okay, I found the sprint. I found the sprint button at least. Oh, it's a freaking bug. Okay. Ah. The key. Please let it be here. Fourth of July. 1839. Okay, so at least we're doing this right. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. 
This is all too strange. No, no. 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 Oh god. No, not that thing. Oh god. Please don't let him find me. Oh my god! I think... That was a monster! I don't know about you guys, but I was a little too scared to actually have a look at that damn thing. <gasps> okay, that's great. Okay, so... <sighs> that happened. Nothing. Okay. 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 Alright. That... That was... Unnerving, so, um, yeah, okay, so... That happened. Oh, what?! Well, things got a little darker now, now, haven't they? Ugh. Okay. So, that absolutely spooked me. Did we ever go down here before? Alright, uh... So that was frightening. Storage. Oh, because everything good happens in storage. Fuck. I'm not reading those, by the way, in case you haven't figured it out yet. This seems frightening. But you know what? Oh! A memento. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Okay. I'm gonna have to end it here. So, um... We, um... Had an encounter with a monster. I would've shown you it. It's just that this sudden instillment of fear made me think, 
I'd rather have him not find me than anything else. To tell you honestly, I was like, I was thinking priority first. Like, the first priority is to keep my life. <laughs> I actually felt in danger. Like, I was about to get my head cut off or something. So, yeah, that uh, that was the rest of the study in the guest room. Um, I'm surprised I didn't see... I didn't... I, I, I'm surprised there wasn't really much else in the study. I thought that would have been pretty scary as hell. Alright, so... Um, I might continue this on. I have no idea, but... Uh, for right now, I'm just happy that I survived that session. Oh, my God. Oh, this game. Oh, my God. All right. Anyways. If you want me to play more of this, please like this uh, like this video. And uh, spread the news about me. I'd love for that. And uh, if you just met me, go on ahead and uh, subscribe to me. And I'll, I, I try my best to get a bunch of these uh, episodes up. And try to check out my last episode, so... I play more than just Amnesia and stuff like this. It's like the only horror game that's on there, but I got some cool stuff. All right. So remember, guys, keep calm and game on. All right. See ya.